Welcome to the ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings and the latest research from a global team of analysts. In this snapshot, we're speaking about how immersive engineering is reshaping the industrial machinery industry with ABI Research's Senior Director Ryan Martin and Siemens Head of Immersive Engineering Marketing, Ben Widowson. Welcome. Hi, and thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks for having me. What has changed in the industrial machinery market recently, and what is immersive engineering? Customers still want to improve speed and accuracy, but now they also want connected machines that are easier to operate, manage, and maintain, which means taking advantage of new technologies like better connectivity for remote monitoring and data management for digital twins. I'm seeing a lot of product engineering teams increasingly adopt cloud and SaaS-based CAD tools to accelerate innovation cycles, streamline updates, and ensure access to the latest features. But we'll also start to see more photorealistic and immersive capabilities as a point of differentiation in the design process. Yeah, so this is where the notion of immersive engineering and extended reality, XR, comes into play. Essentially, production innovation teams will start to utilize virtual reality and pass-through type headsets for design reviews and collaborative sessions with products to scale, still sitting at their desk, but just with a VR headset for short periods of time. What are the top industry pain points? The three biggest pain points are first, inefficiency within teams. Teams are often distributed in different places and time zones making collaboration difficult. Next is error. Mistakes made in design can lead to costly production delays and material waste. Yeah, and the third pain point is physical prototyping. Moving from design to physical product testing is time consuming and resource intensive, often requiring months. These pain points are driving the industry to find more efficient and cost-effective solutions, which brings us to how immersive engineering can help. How exactly can immersive engineering help? Immersive engineering is somewhat synonymous with XR which encompasses virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. But in this case, we're thinking primarily of VR for immersive and AR for frontline tasks where situational awareness is more important. Exactly. Immersive engineering can enhance collaboration by enabling distributed teams to work together more effectively. Through virtual environments, they can manipulate 3D models, conduct design reviews, and of course, share ideas in real time, improving decision-making. Immersive engineering can also improve design reviews. Rather than relying on 2D screens or physical prototypes, immersive engineering offers two scale models that provide richer insights and allows different stakeholders to interrogate what a product looks like to provide feedback earlier in the design process. And immersive engineering opens the door to virtual commissioning. It allows companies to virtually test machines and systems before they're physically built, saving time and costs associated with physical prototyping. These capabilities are not entirely new, but they can become much easier and more accurate with immersive design and exploration, especially when users are doing checks and can provide feedback in the same environment. What are some of the best practices for adopting immersive engineering? In general, adoption is going to be an evolutionary process, which really means a phased approach. In the first phase, you're going to want to pilot new immersive applications with a small number of power users. These are your internal champions for capabilities and use cases that make the most sense for your business. It's probably going to entail hybrid use, where immersive is used alongside your current design tools so you can see how it integrates gradually without disrupting the entire process. Next expand the number of users, and at the same time, bring new apps and capabilities to the original cohort for more testing and to support future growth. Finally, extend and fully integrate the new workflows into operations as the new normal. This should allow your company and centers of innovation to establish a new operating rhythm. Will immersive engineering become a prevalent part of design workflows? Absolutely. It's clear that immersive capabilities help streamline process and improve quality and collaboration, making it easier for suppliers to meet customer requirements. So immersive engineering will become a more common part of the design workflow as more companies learn about its availability and benefits. I think we'll continue to see more industries embrace these technologies in the coming years. Thanks so much. For a deeper dive into industrial machinery immersive engineering, download the white paper at abiresearch.com.